All right, guys, so got a new lithium battery, a 30 amp hour. I got a uh, Elite TI2 9 inch screen in my 360. So I'm looking for a little more power, a little more uh, longevity. So we're gonna we're gonna wire up this battery, and uh, we were looking around and pretty much like the plug for the FPV power. Looks like the best type of plug that would last in salt water. So it's got a good seal. Um, the connections are pretty big. I know the Nakwa used to have issues with the plugs corroding and breaking when you're saltwater fishing. So what we're going to do is go ahead and strip out this wire. So this is what we're going to start running. And uh, Louisiana Kayak Customs sells these. Um, they're waterproof crimps or waterproof connectors, really. And they actually have solder, low heat solder right here and uh, adhesive right here on the blue line. So what you do is you just put your wires in there just like a normal butt connector and then you heat it up with a heat gun or a torch and the solder melts and seals it up and then heat the rest of the connector and it is going to go ahead and seal it up waterproof. So these are probably the best connections you can get for kayaks or, or on the water period, especially salt water. We have a lot of issues with corrosion getting in, so these are gonna last the longest. So we're gonna use these. We also need to rig this wire into the battery. So we are gonna use these connections right here and we're gonna rig them in there like so. And then we are going to seal them over with some liquid electrical tape. Like I said, we're gonna, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and seal this battery completely so we don't have to put it in a waterproof box. We're gonna get it sealed up pretty good and then wire one of these plugs right into there. And then we'll also wire the charger. That's why we actually have two sets of these, so. All right, so the next step is we're gonna take these crimps like so. And we're actually gonna shove just a little bit of dielectric grease in there. A little bit. Shove that in there good. I want to make sure we get a good strong connection. So we're actually going to bend the wire just a little bit. Get in there nice and tight. And then we're going to crimp it. Right there. Our connection's good and strong. Got that in there good. Make sure that gets in there good and tight. It's in there tight. We're going to take the heat gun. Make sure that's sealed up real good. Looks pretty good to me. <clears throat> and then the next step is we're gonna put this on here, and like I said, like I said the next step is we're gonna seal the crap out of it with liquid electrical tape. Make sure it's good and tight should never have to come off so and if we needed to get the electrical like uh, liquid electrical tape off we could all right so that's good and tight all the wiring looks good do that just a little bit more. Let it dry for a second. And then we're going to start coating it with the liquid electrical tape.
So we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and put another coat on it. So the next step is to the kayak. All right, this is the Nakla plug. We're gonna go ahead and cut off because it doesn't uh, do too well in the salt, in my opinion. So, actually, I'm gonna snip back a little bit more because I can still see some corrosion. Yep, I still see some corrosion, so that said, doesn't do the greatest. and red and the brown and blue red is going to be the positive so is brown so we need to connect these two so I'm gonna strip it out a little bit about right there a little bit more right there. perfect it's perfect right there same thing on this one. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to shove one of these on there. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of these and we are going to put it on here and cover both of them when we get done. So like that. So let's straighten this wire back up. We're going to put a little bit of dielectric grease on the wires themselves just to keep them nice and clean all right we need our heat gun and go ahead and put that on there red like i said brown was positive I want that solder to be right over the wires just like that with my fingers just like that and it works it into the wire pretty good and then and keep working it with the heat, heat gun put it on same way right to the solder Make sure both wires are in there. This one needs to be turned a little bit. Perfect. And then shove this one in there just right. Just like that. Like I said, I like to smash the solder just a little bit. Get it in there real good all over the wire. You can see it's in there really good. So we're just gonna keep heating it up. Get it nice and straight. And it looks pretty sealed. We'll do a little bit more. You see that looks pretty good. Look at that. All the ends are sealed really good. Like I said, we're gonna pull that heat shrink all the way over, just like so. Make sure it's about even. And 
that right there is going to be one of the best waterproof connections you can get. And a little extra insurance that I like to do is take your liquid electrical tape and make a coat over that. So we got our liquid electrical tape, Let's just brush on. I mean, this is sealed up. You don't have to do this, but since I fish strictly salt water, I recommend it. So like I said, you're just gonna take your liquid electrical tape. Once you make sure you got that sealed up real good and we're just gonna brush it on, especially at the seam. Try not to make such a mess, but it's all right. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Like I said, we're just kind of brushing it on, getting it everywhere, right in them seams especially, just to make sure, extra layer of protection. And that's it. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but I do it just to seal it up pretty good. And that's it.